data is going to transform a lot of aspects of our lives, including music. We've got access now to more data than we've ever had before and a greater range of data. What I'm interested in is, is the new elements that it might generate. Or alternatively, can this technology, in a sense, be used to extend human experience? And this led eventually to this uh, research network. The idea was to bring people from very different backgrounds and, and trying to understand when data, for example, is data and when it starts to be meaningful. So two collaborations developed through this meeting that we enabled. One of them is an improvisation between saxophonist uh, Francesca uh, Schroeder and Federico uh, Ruben, and they are improvising together. And in this instance, they will also be equipped with sensors that pick up physiological measurements. The other performance is my AI system with pianist David Dolan. And he was intrigued by my notion that there could be a dialogue between human and computer. We've been developing it for about a year and we are performing together at this point music that we think is quite good. When it comes to these new techniques of working with data, what I'm interested in is the new elements that it might generate rather than what sounds very much like the original data set. As a composer, you're always looking to find new ways to do something. To be able to use machine learning to create new sounds and new ideas that then you can then incorporate in your own works, that's an amazing ambition and I think that we'll see a lot more of that going forward. We're not looking to replace musicians, we're looking to give musicians new experiences. So far the research is derived primarily by the technology and that means that people are applying machine learning to the data they have and if we want to make a kind of more ethical and inclusive research field we have to kind of think carefully about how do we make the data more broad, uh, kind of more representative of music in kind of multifaceted things. From my angle, if I'm listening to a piece of music and enjoying it, I don't mind if an AI made it or human made it. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I'm enjoying the piece of music and I want to listen to it and that's great. Actually, AI could be very useful. AI and music data can enhance musical experiences, can enhance musical activities, can create opportunities for performers, for listeners, for composers in various ways. And if we see this kind of gradual shift in the public discourse, that will also be very useful.